Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Ford. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the part one of the bipartisan health care reform video that we watched. So, in 2009, President Obama proposed a bipartisan way to discuss how to reform our health care. One year later, in 2010, government officials are still trying to agree on the best plan of action to reform health care, leading to the development of the Affordable Care Act, which is what we are under currently. As an advanced practice nurse, I see the need for health care reform for all Americans of all walks of life. I agree with both parties that the goal of health care should be to provide Americans with affordable, accessible, and accountable health care insurance. I believe that in order to achieve these goals, health care as a whole should start over from the top. I agree with Lamar um, Alexander, the senator that spoke first. I agree that we should do a step-by-step -step method. I feel like it would be effective. Um, if done correctly. But I also agree with the Speaker Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi that there should be a concern for urgency. Um, the longer the reform process takes, the longer American citizens suffer or go without coverage. That being said, I believe a step-by-step -step method could be achieved in a time-effective manner. Therefore, I vote to blend both sides, the ideas of both sides, um, in order to address the affordability, the accessibility, and accountability of health care. In a step-by-step -step method, prioritization of topics would be time would be imminent for time management. Tackling the issues of cost would be a good first step because everyone from private paying individuals to large companies are concerned with cost. According to the Kaiser or Kaiser Health Reform, making insurance more affordable for the American people will cost $938 billion over the next 10 years, according to the Congressional Budget Office. New taxes will be created to help cover the cost and reduce the federal deficit. Next step would be to rein in the insurance companies and create some type of limitation on what they can and cannot do for those that are trying to purchase health insurance. According to WhiteHouse.gov, by conditions, I mean by creating stricter rules, insurance companies won't be able to refuse individuals with pre-existing conditions or be able to establish limits on their coverage. These new rules will create accountability from the insurance companies. Um, and also the next step would be to discuss accessibility. Whitehouse.gov states that 16 million Americans have gained health care coverage through the Affordable Care Act. Now that health care seems to be more affordable for a larger portion of the American society, um, Americans are obtaining insurance and therefore they're seeking medical attention. Advanced practice nurses serve as a prominent group of health care providers to the millions of newly insured Americans and the Americans already insured. According to the American Association of Nurse Practitioners, there are more than 222,000 licensed nurse practitioners working currently in the United States. These nurse practitioners average seeing three or more patients per hour. That's a lot of patients that we as nurse practitioners will see. Our profession can implement the Affordable Care Act by providing better access to care, higher quality of care, easy access to health education, and free preventive services. Because we work for and alongside members of the community, we have a strong voice. We can see firsthand the problems that our citizens are struggling with concerning um, health insurance. And then we can take this information to our state representatives who can then take our concerns higher up and hopefully help reform the Health Care Act. Um, this knowledge Advanced practice nurses can also help reduce health care costs through educating patients on the proper use of medication, ways to prevent injuries such as falls and certain diseases, and by striving to reduce the length of hospital stays, readmissions, and hospital-acquired infections. By helping reduce health care costs of individual patients, advanced practicing nurses will in turn attribute to helping decrease the overall federal deficit. By implementing quality patient care, Advanced practice nurses have a great opportunity to help redefine our nation's health care policies step by step. The Affordable Care Act set in motion a plan to reform health care, and although health care still has a long way to go, I feel that we are on the right track.